Hey, my name's James Nicholson, and if you're watching this video, you're a coach, consultant, business owner, or someone looking to start a business, and you want to know why content marketing is important to your business. Well, watch this video to the end. I'm going to go in all the ins and outs of content marketing and show you and talk about experiences I've had in my business using content marketing and also some clients of mine as well, how they've used content to grow their businesses. Now, my name is James Nicholson and I've developed something very, very special that helps business owners get leads and sales online. I call it my business accelerator methodology and it's taken me 17 years to refine and get this working and I use it in my business. I've generated millions of pounds in sales in my businesses. Uh, not only that, my clients have gone on to generate many, many millions of pounds in sales in their businesses using it as well. And one thing that I found very, very quickly in business was that most businesses, they try and get married on a first date. They try and go for the sale way too quickly in business. And this is where this stuff, content, really comes into its own. Now, if you have a look around at your competitors, even big brands like Amazon, look at their Facebook pages and the marketing they're doing. Very, very often, they're just selling stuff, right? They're just trying to get married on a first date. So maybe you stumble across a builder, a state agent, a coach or consultant, and on their business page, all it has is buy this, take this, do this, do that, um, and you might not be ready to buy at that stage, right? And even Amazon do that. Amazon have 5 million followers on their UK business page on Facebook. And when they post something, every single time they're selling, right? Literally every time. We, we do an audit on our business accelerator. And often it's Amazon is the company people want to look at. And you'll see a business that's got 5 million likes. When they post something, they'll often only get about 20 likes on each post. Right, which means most people aren't seeing it because there's no engagement there. Right, Whereas there are individuals, including myself, that have got posts that have got hundreds of likes on and comments on, uh, and that's because we've gone with value first, and that's content, right? You've got to use content first. Now, the reason for that is when someone's considering buying from you, they don't know you, they don't like you, and they don't trust you. Sorry, it's true, right? You know that. Now, we've got to build that relationship with that person. And the best way to do that is to give value. Think about it if you were at a dinner party with friends and someone came to speak to you in the kitchen and all they did was pitch their insurance services or their multi-level marketing thing. You'd want to get away from them, right? You want to get away from them and speak to somebody else as quickly as you can. Whereas if they gave you some value and helped you with something that you were stuck on, then that person would be significantly leveled up in your value estimate of them. Now, when you just sell stuff on social media, like most people do, you will get some leads, but these are the people that beat you up on price, uh, they're frustrating to work with, uh, they're not the ones that you want to work with. When you put content, people really know that you're an expert at what you do. Right Now, other reasons for using content are maybe your clients don't know that they need your product or service, right? They don't know that it even exists. So I have a client that is in the health and wellness in niche, uh, and they have a product called Iridology, which is where they take a picture of your eye and then able to identify lots of ailments that you possibly have got from that and then help you following that, right? Now, most people don't even know that exists. They don't even know that there's a product called iridology. And so because of that, that means that they have to use content to educate an audience. So they'll to put content out there talking about how to improve psoriasis, how to improve uh, diabetes, and all these other things. Uh, and by putting that content out, people get value. Then they get presented with a solution and then Ronald and Petrina are there ready to help them if they need the help, right? And so what we're doing with content is taking people in baby steps. It's like, hey, nice to meet you. Hey, look, let's give you some value here. Hey, let's do this. And that's the next step that we're trying to take people down, right? And so that's what I want you to consider. Now, content. How do you make it? Where does it go? What types of content are there? Well, there's three types of content that you can put out. 
there's video content, which most of you are seeing this as now, but I could also strip out the audio from this and make an audio version. Audio and there's written content. Hopefully you can read my writing there, right? So there's video content, audio content, and written content. And these are the real ways that you can put it out. Now, video content goes best on YouTube, right? You're probably watching this on YouTube, but it could be on Facebook, could be on LinkedIn. And so that content is just made. This is being filmed on an iPhone. Although I have a studio, I actually just film it on an iPhone, right? Um, and, and so... That's just filmed on an iPhone and then an editor trims it at the front and the back uh, and then it goes online, right? So video content's great. It's actually one of the better mediums because people really like video content. They engage with video content. A lot of people like to watch video, right? So video's awesome. Uh, next, we actually strip out the, the audio from this and we also make podcasts from it, right? And so you could take this content. This video we're talking that, uh, to you on here you don't need to see what's on the whiteboard here. You don't need to see that, right? So there's no reason we couldn't take this out and make this into a podcast as well. You can use an app called anchor.fm to load a podcast up very, very easily, right? So audio content's really, really good. Now also written content can be great as well. And so I have a blog on my site. So my website, james-nicholson.co.uk. There's a blog on there with hundreds of articles on growing a business. And how we make that is first we make a video, right? So we make a video on a topic here. And then we go to a website. I'll see if I can fit it in here. Otter. Dot AI. I don't know what country AI is. There's otter.ai, right? And so I take my video and I upload it to Otter. And in Otter, they transcribe it, right? So it transcribes the video. And then that gives me a version, a written version of the content then, which I upload into my WordPress site. Now, I have to edit it. It's not perfect because the way you speak isn't the way you write but it's close enough, saves you a ton of money. Writing an article can take a while. Having one to edit is way quicker. Way, 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 way quicker. So that's really, really important here. So these are the types of content. The main reason you're doing this is to build trust, build a relationship, build rapport with your audience, get them to know, like, and trust you. That's very, very important. Pick a type of content that you enjoy doing. Right. If you like to make video, make video. If you want to do audio or written, but also consider your audience as well. Right. And so we work with a, a, a business that uh, works with a lot of teachers. Right. Their, their audience likes to read. Right. So they make written content. Uh, and so that's good for them. So figure it out. Um, now, this is part of a, a process called the Business Accelerator. And so what I want to do is I want to give you uh, uh, like an insight into that. And I want to give you a free copy of my book. Expert Mastery. And in here, this is a real physical book, not an ebook. Uh, in Expert Mastery, I'm going to share with you exactly how to uh, run the business accelerator. So in the description of this video is a link. Click on the link and you can grab a free copy of Expert Mastery. I'm paying for the book. You're going to pay for the shipping, but that'll be with you in the next few days. So do that now. Go and click on that link uh, and I'll ship that out to you in the next few days. See you soon.